Good morning, adventurers. It is our final day here in Singapore, and we're kind of sad about it. It's bittersweet because we're going to be flying to London tomorrow, which we love London. We're going to be exploring England a little bit more. It'll be nice because I'm like sweating profusely right now, and it'll be nice and it's lovely gonna be weather when we get so there. So much cooler. It's going to be proper Christmas time there. Yeah. Um, but we're going to be really sad to leave Asia because, you know, number one, the food has just been off the chain. It's been awesome. And yeah. the sights and stuff. And I don't know, every city's just been so different. And I guess we just thought Singapore is like so tiny. We wouldn't need that long to explore it. But yeah, we I were think, dead wrong. There's a yeah, lot more stuff that we still haven't seen. We're really enjoying it. The mix of like these cool buildings with like the new modern ones. It's just so neat. But we've been staying at this capsule hotel called the Chic Capsule Hotel. And uh, we were going to give you guys a quick look around. Um, but our goal after that is to go out and see some of the sites, the, uh, you know, yeah. picturesque stuff around Singapore. You wouldn't believe it but this morning it was a crazy storm the thunder was so loud and it was pouring down rain and now it's kind of beautiful yeah so nice. i think Running we into lucked a out day. yeah let's go check out this capsule hotel because it is pretty interesting so this is the lobby area where we've been hanging out getting work done chilling socializing all that good stuff and then uh over here we just have some uh you know some breakfast some fruit some yeah, sandwiches give you different kinds, kinds of goodies. sandwiches and fruit every day and then they have tea and coffee and cereal mm -hmm. Now onward to the capsules. Yes. So there are no shoes allowed in this capsule. So Eric and I have lucky number 24. So this place actually has a couple different floors. We're on the second floor. I think there's rooms off to either side. We have a bathroom. It is unisex. So we have shower toilet combos. The bathrooms themselves feel like little pods. So it's got the toilet in there and the shower and everything you need. You can just kind of go in there and be in your own little pod and it's very private, which is always nice for the bathroom. And they have hair dryers and little areas to do your makeup outside of the bathroom if you need it. It's pretty cool. The coolest features of this hostel is that they have these waterproof bracelets that they give you. They give you access to all your stuff. So this is the entrance to our uh, common room. So you put this little guy here. Doodly doo magic. Uh, okay, so this is Eric's little pod. It's got this like little curtain guy. Ta -da! Ta -da! Welcome to my pod. So I'm about five foot ten, and uh, just to give you an idea of how much space you have in here, so I can lay in here comfortably without my head hitting this thing or my feet hitting the wall back there. So I've got a good like maybe four or five inches clearance on each end. Nice. So. You can fit a pretty pretty tall boy or girl in here, for sure. These pods are also very solid. I was a little skeptical, but they're very uh, well made and solid. So if you're kind of moving around down here, the person up there can't really feel it and it doesn't really creak or anything. Yeah, I've been sleeping up on the top bunk up here and climbing up this ladder here. It's really sturdy. Yeah, so she gets up and down and I don't even know, which is great. We've stayed in a lot of hostels where it's just a bunk bed. So any movement that the person makes, it's like squeaking and it's moving you all around. It's so hard to sleep. So we've got the uh, linens and the towels that are included, all our remotes for our TV over here. And there's this uh, nice little rack in here where I've been hanging all my stuff. This is the key to a pod, is keeping everything kind of elevated so that you don't have a bunch of stuff laying in the bed with you. There's also a nice little outlet here. Um, so you can have all your goodies plugged in there. You can plug in a, uh, um, an expander to that and then light switch. And if you're into reading, a nice little reading light. Bing. They also come with a nice pair of uh, Beats Audio headphones, which is great, um, and a little splitter. So we've been able to lay down here and watch movies together without having to bring our own splitter. That is awesome. It's little things, you know. So the way that the entertainment works is you can you use this remote, so you move this around and the mouse moves around, so you can use this button and interact with it like you do on a computer. Check that out. That's pretty cool. Watch a little YouTube and a bunch of other goodies. Hey, Nikita. Hey, guys. How's it going up there? Pretty good. Just getting some work done. Have you been enjoying your capsule? Yeah, it's really good. It's nice sleeping in here because you're like in a little cave. Yeah, that's true. I've been sleeping like a rock yeah. in here. It's been great. Your bracelet also gives you access to your little bin down here. So this is uh, how you keep all your valuables nice and secure. Magic. Ta-da. That's where all my goodies are. If you want to get with me, better make it fast. Now don't go wasting. Hey, what I'm doing here is very private. Busted. Be just fine. <laughs> this 
capsule hotel is actually really affordable. Um, Singapore can be a little bit expensive, as you probably know. So definitely a good option to stay here when you're traveling through Singapore. Shoes back on. Mm -hmm. The hotel is right in the middle of Chinatown. So there's a ton of food, a bunch of bars, all kinds of stuff to do. You could just kind of walk around and uh, stumble across all kinds of cool stuff. Yeah, they have malls, little shops, hawker stalls, everything. Speaking of food, we are going to get ourselves some grub right meow because we're very hungry. We came back to the Maxwell Hawker Center, which we went into to in a previous video, because there's just so many vendors here. Some of them are closed today, but there's still so many vendors here we haven't tried. We've only tried a couple. So I ended up getting laksa, which we made in our cooking video mm -hmm. um, because it's one of my new favorites. I might say that we did a better job with yeah, the maybe. presentation. I already tasted it. It's, it's pretty good, but yeah. I think ours was better. And I got Mi Siam, which I haven't tried before. And I'm actually not 100% sure what it is, but it looks really, really delicious. And she assured me that it's just a little spicy. I think these were some little, um, I think they were fried noodles that she added in here. And then little pieces of tofu. There, we got extra um, veggies with our meals. You can pay 50 cents and get bok choy, an egg, and then one of the little calamasi. Yeah. Which is our awesome. new favorite fruit slash. Yeah, it's kind of like a orangey lime yeah. kind of taste. It's really exactly. good. Get in there. Follow the light. Follow me. We stumbled onto an area that's just south of Chinatown and we came to a cafe called My Awesome Cafe. And it's really nicely decorated. They have all this cool stuff hanging around and they have iron pipes um, for all the tables down there. It's pretty neat. But uh, they also had very affordable coffee. So I got a cappuccino. It looks nice and cheeky. It's very small, which is usually comes along with affordable. <laughs> and some ice lattes, right? Oh yes. Yeah. Is it good? It is really good. It's a little strong, which is nice. And I'm soaking up the last of these iced beverages before I switch to warm tomorrow. Oh my God, you guys, we found a pizza vending machine. All my wildest dreams are coming true. It's called ATM Pizza. <laughs> you can also pay for stuff with it. Pay for stuff, use the pizza as a currency? Yeah. Yeah, what do you think the exchange Imagine rate is? what the world would be like if we could pay with pizza. We've come to Gardens by the Bay, which is a really popular tourist attraction in Singapore that you kind of have to see. It's made up of 18 different super trees, and the tallest one of them is 16 stories high. The trees are made up of over 160,000 different plants and over 200 different species of plants. This project and the other green projects around the city, the whole goal of it is to kind of make it feel like Singapore is a city that's within a garden rather than a bunch of gardens within a city. So when you walk around the city, you'll see a ton of greenery and it feels very fresh. It's a lot different than most of the other cities that we've been to. Check it out, they have a, rest, a restaurant at the top of this tree here, the big one. That's cool, I didn't realize that. I'm sure it's very expensive. they did the light show there at the end we took a train over to Little India because we haven't seen it yet um, and we really wanted some Indian food for our last final dinner here in Singapore. Um, I ended up getting the butter chicken and Allison got a vegetarian dish. What is it? I can't remember. I've never heard of it before but it was just veggies and sauce and I love veggies so yeah, it I went for it. Pretty damn oh God, good. It so good. And I got some garlic naan over here. Look at that. Oh man. We're watching to make it right here too. <laughs> I'm so excited about this butter chicken. I've been wanting butter chicken ever since we got to Malaysia. 
It's really dang good. I thought it was going to be a little sweeter, but it's really kind of tangy and there's like just a little bit of sweetness to it. It's pretty dang good. It's slightly spicy, as it should be. Pretty good choice for our final meal, I think. Look at all the vegetables! Oh yeah, I'm pretty jealous. That looks pretty dang good. Yeah. You've got all this greenery and I've just got a boat of chicken. Yep. <laughs> Whoa. That is so good. This might be the best Indian dish I've ever tried. <laughs> it almost tastes like, as weird as it sounds, cheese curry pizza. Cheese curry pizza? <laughs> yeah. Right. I don't know why. Maybe it's because of the naan in there, because of the garlic. But this is really freaking good. It's a little spicy, but not too much. Okay, you guys. We're gonna devour this. Then we have to go quickly pack up and get ready for our very, very long 14 flight tomorrow. 14 hours. 14 hours. That's We're gonna crazy. lose our minds. I don't know, but we'll vlog it all and show you. We're going with Norwegian, and we've had pretty good experiences with them so far, so we'll see. But we'll leave you here. Good night, adventures. We'll see you on the road.